Fully but determinedly with their tube feet, they leave completely bare patches wherever they graze. I have no choice but to painstakingly carry these greedy intruders one by one to public waters a hundred meters away, a time-consuming task that often keeps me working until moonlight filters through the surface. My farm serves not just as a food source but also as shelter. At nightfall when light dims, I weave through my farm, settling beneath the foliage to find peaceful respite. The farm's vegetation acts as a natural barrier against predators' gazes. Yet this tranquility is an absolute. The invaders quietly return. Sea urchins brandish their sharp spines, wantonly destroying my farm while I can only watch helplessly as my hard work is being devoured. At dawn's inspection, I find exactly what I feared. Sea urchins everywhere, still feasting without restraint, having nearly destroyed my entire farm. The whole day will be spent removing these pests, but suddenly I detect something amiss, an unusual vibration in the water. A dark mass approaches, and when recognition dawns, every scale stands on end. An army of 10